Hello folks of YouTube, welcome back to Death's Door. We are here in the Frog King's Domain, we're just catching up on stream, so we're gonna do a little bit of a recap, but now we're gonna go to the extremely difficult area we had earlier, yeah, last night I mean. Nice, dude, the, the hammer's so good. So yeah, I've been like absolutely in awe of how good this game is. I, the soundtrack is popping right now. I need to emphasize how good the soundtrack is and how much I am enjoying it. It's this way, right? It's this way. We went over this last time. It's this way. I like, I, it, it's wild because to me, having played Titan Souls, this feels like a remastered Titan Souls soundtrack and I love that. Oh, that was risky. Okay, that was, that was okay. Let's go. Okay, easy clap. Give me those eight souls, please. Thank you. Oh, do we have like the evil zebra guys here? This is not the way to go. How do I already, how do I already get confused? Hold on. But yeah, I have been, I've been thinking about it a lot. I, I, I think this like might genuinely be a game of the year contender for me already. And I know it's July, so it's not that early in the year. But like, good God, this game is really, really good. I, I was talking about this last night, but I, I have not played, like, a Zelda-like? I don't know if that's the correct word to use for this anyway. But... The last top-down action game I played that felt this good was Hades. And Hades is really, really good, and also not a narrative... No, this game isn't super narrative. No, it is. Sorry. No. Not like a, you know... Oh, I keep hurting that. Um, these guys don't die in two bits. No! Okay. Well, we have the, we have the, we have the, oh! Why did I spawn over here? Oh, no. Okay, well, that's not great. Um, and also not like a, you know, a single player playthrough experience versus this is, the, it, it's not a roguelike, is what I'm trying to say. There's been lots of good top down action roguelikes over the last few years. There have been much, far, far fewer just like you play the game and then it's done games. That was my bad. I cannot believe that works still. That's so cool. I, I was like so shocked last night when we blew up the whole area with the with the bomb. That's so surprising to me. It's got this thing has such a high level of detail. That's so cool. Oh, is it four hits? I thought it was three. Progress? Wait, pog? Poggress? You telling me they got pogs in this game? Yo, okay. Hold on. Don't call it a comeback. Oh, that's why this was here. I was trying to figure out why this was here before, but now I understand. The game's design is genius. Like, the layouts are really, really good. All right, we're sealed in now. Oh, good. Okay, that's my bad. I don't respect these guys at all. I don't respect that guy either. I don't respect that guy either. Name an enemy I respect. You can't. No, I respect the uh, the the cannon guys from the 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 factory, the poison cannon guys. I respect them. I almost did it again too. Almost did it again. Oh, look at the fast fire. This is like without a lot of uh, decks and stuff. Although, actually, I don't know if. <gasps> yeah. I don't know if um the magic stack controls cast speed or if dex does. Dude, this is getting very, very hectic in here. I don't like it. Okay. Uh, noted. The bombs do a lot of damage, but do not explode those. Oh, 
Oh, you ever? Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't want to talk about it. I almost walked off. Oh, you know, that tea's not done yet. I legitimately do steep my tea for like 20 minutes. I guess I shouldn't steep my tea for 20 minutes then? Is that what the universe is telling me? Is that a bad thing? I'm not saying with all tea, just with herbal. I don't steep all of my tea for 20 minutes. That would be weird. But I think I think I do too high of a ratio of uh, water to tea. I need to do a better water to tea ratio. Wait, how do I get over here faster? I'm unclear as to which way I'm supposed to go. Is it this one? I think, yeah, this, this is it. Got it. We got it. We're going to take this right now because we're going to be over here anyway. Locked in. Same as well. All right. Here we go. Whew. I will say, on the note of, like, there not being a lot of games like this that aren't roguelikes, I think that's interesting. People are afraid to make uh, games like Zelda that aren't roguelikes. I think, I think part of it is that, like, you just get so much better, you know, obviously, you exchange a lot of metrics for your game in favor of having a tighter experience, right? Like... The notion of player retention on a game that you play once is not really a thing. Oh, let's go. I guess the question is, do you want it to be? Oh, let's go. See, we didn't, even, we didn't even need the plant. It's fine. Everything's fine. Shout out to the boys, by the way. Love the boys. I don't want to talk about it. My greatest regret is that I've harmed the boys through my actions. It's the first rule of robotics. And or being a crow reaper. You cannot, through your actions or inactions, allow one of the boys to come to harm. Dude. Deacons of the Deep incoming, Pog? This do be looking a little bit like Aldrich's Cathedral. And by that I mean a building. If, you, if, you, if you've been brain poisoned by playing too much Dark Souls, you may say any large gothic building looks like uh, Aldrich's Cathedral. I should say any large gothic building near water is not even that near water, to be real with you. We got upgrades, right? Yeah, we got 1,200. Oh, so it's Dex's both? Dude, that's so good. How are these stats so good? We're going to grab magic, I think, because we sp spamming ranged is very powerful. So, like, I do want to be doing that. Oh, I don't know. I kind of, I, I'm tempted just to finish out haste. Yeah. Actually, yeah. We're committing. We, why would we need DPS and we can walk faster? See, I told you. Don't run the Frog King. I'm curious if this is literally the boss fight now or if it's going to be another dungeon here. This looks like literally the boss fight. But who knows? Crooked Crow. Clearly my grunts have failed to teach you a lesson, so I'll have to do it myself. After I'm done with you, I'll use your feathers to buff my armor and make it all shiny. I'll be the most handsome creature under the shadow of the door. Alright, squishy time. Oh no. King of the Swamp. Guardian of the Flooded Fortress. 
Lord of his domain, ruler of all he surveys, champion of the people, cheaper of the five votes, first of his name, second of the name, or who is that with middle initial mercy to destroy all those dude? Uh, question is rightful rule or okay. I tried. I tried. Lord, I tried. Oh, hi. Pogo stick. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Got him? Get out of here. What? Oh. Bonk. Okay. The bonk is very satisfying. What a fight so far. Look at this. Okay, I see. We're knocking the armor off first. The animations are so good. What? What? How did he get in the armor? What the heck? It's like three times the size. What? 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 Oh, wait! That's such a cool idea! We can use ranged attacks. Oh, don't, don't, don't give me, okay, sorry. don't give me double, double jeopardy at least, please. Wait, that is the coolest mechanic ever? When he shows his back to us, we can hit the mace. Oh my god, this is so clever. When his back's to us, we can shoot the mace with our arrows to uh, reset the stage. That is so cool. Oh, this is unbelievably clever. Oops. That one's on me. I'm trying to figure out why they were having him turn around and face away from us, and now I get it. That's so cool. Oh. I was like just off on the count. That's funny. That's greedy of me. That's very greedy. I don't know why this, I don't know why the, the, that like tile that was close. That, like, tile effect reminded me of Luigi's Mansion 3, but... Shoutout to LM3. I remember, like, virtually nothing in that game. Is it 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 6. Yeah. That one's on me. Got greedy. Gotta, like, get close to him. We're getting somewhere with this, folks. Two, three, four, five, six. Dude. <laughs> I'm trying way too hard to get damage in. Oh, that's my bad. That one, that one was not the fight. That's not anything BS. That's just that was just me being enormously greedy. All right, all right, all right. Oh, that's... Can we try? No, you know what? We're just going to do it without getting hit. It's easy as pie. Bonk. Bonk. 
All right, real fight begins now. Hmm, there we go. Now that he's good. use arrows. You want to get me out of here, actually? Let me restart this. Let me just hit the quick, the quick R. Hold, hold R real quick. Restart the fight. Let's get back in this. Well, let's get back in. Did we lose souls? I don't think so, right? The number of hits increase per, uh, per repetition, I wonder? Interesting. So anybody tried out Pokemon Unite yet? The fresh new MOBA taking the market by storm. A part of the news. We didn't do the news hour today. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look, I'm not playing it on stream, but I'm not. <laughs> I didn't say I'm not playing it in general. I may have tried it out last night. Yeah, it does seem. Yeah, no, it, it seems. I'm. I'm shocked that the bizarre Nintendo Tencent partnership has yielded. The most fun casual MMO not named Heroes of the Storm. That's just like, this seems wrong to me. It just seems inconceivable this game could be both fun and good. Oh, I didn't know that. What's up with the blue health on Slowbro? Is it like... Oh... Oh, that sounds appealing. Oh. Is the blue health like, uh, like, like the, uh, the... Missing health in League, like, um, people like Pike? Is that what it is? That's what it looked like to me, at least. That's, that's crazy. It's wild how despite, you know, there being a lot, much less complexity than like a League or Dota, it feels like everything in uh, Unite is like wildly overpowered compared to especially League of Legends counterparts. Damage is stored taking over time. You can steal damage or heal to not take the real damage number. Okay. Very cool. It's a great concept. I mean, may as well steal from the best, right? like probably pretty bad captures playing slow burn pokemon really well yeah a game feels a slam dunk you say a slam dunk in the game about dunking on people really interesting But yeah, I, I'm like both shocked they managed to make a MOBA that is playable and maybe even fun with the Pokemon IP attached. And then also make it playable on a gamepad? That's like really weird. 
if this keeps up and they have a successful mobile release, this game is going to make a billion dollars. Let's go. Is it over? Oh my god. Absolutely decimated. We take no damage. No damage taken, by the way. I love these no UI cutscenes like this. This is one of the coolest things about the game. I think their use of, like, their willingness to just, like, throw up a screen that is not something that's actually happening in-game is genius. Garchomp felt good, too? Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I might try some more later. Um, like, this game is very willing to just, like, have, like, like the avarice screen. You have, like, you know, full text on screen typography stuff. That's genius, and this game is very clever. Incredibly stylish. A bold and fearless leader, he was persecuted for his simple desire to place all in the forest under his rule. And, occasionally, his bottom. His reign is ended in its absence we felt across the swamp. Bow your head in remembrance, pray, pay your last respects, his time in this world is over. Bonk. Bonk. Hey, bud. Some will be pleased the king is dead. But a life is a life, and in death we are all unified. On God, what is this? I found a giant arrowhead. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of one of these. Dude, did I miss an item in the, uh... Hopefully I didn't miss an item in the grandma's basement. This arrowhead would have been much too large to fit into any normal bow. You sense the latent soul energy contained inside. The previous owner must have imbued it with some of his soul in order to prevent or delay his death. Oh, so this is like the explanation for how the, the, how the king lived for so long. In this aspect, it is a direct forerunner to the weapons the modern, that the modern reapers use themselves. Wow. Very cool. Between now and the corrupted antler, this area is very interesting. Oh, no door. Wait, really? Didn't, like, the special door drop in right away last time? I'm a little surprised, actually. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well... Oh, it was upon taking our next door out of the area, I think. We, like, hijacked our door destination. Huh. Or not, I guess. Interesting. Okay. We'll take the dub, though. I'll put a call into pest control. Don't! I always want a pet, but they don't want animals in the office. I would, but I need 800 more souls first. Huh, okay, interesting. I want to talk to our mentor, and also to, to Vaga. My true mentor. My guiding moonlight. This guy. I wonder what it would be like to live free, knowing that you were going to die. Live free, die hard. Fighting for scrap. Okay. Yeah. This guy's thinking about it. Badger's thinking about it. Hey, what about you, buddy? Oh, sorry. The last sounded a bit ominous. Same thing as same thing as last time. Okay, well, interesting. I'm a little surprised that we didn't hit another story event right away, but we did get the second soul. So, okay. Well, anyway, let's let's get rolling then. We're, we're, we just gotta head on back to our main zone. Dark Souls NPC, absolutely. Oh, also Dark Souls NPC, but also like we know that he was the one who did it, so. All right, here we go. Blast Cemetery. We're on our way to the Beast Domain. I'm excited. This should be fairly straightforward to figure out. There should just be like an explodable wall somewhere around here that we can blow up and then... Oh, dude. 
I'm planting seeds now. I'm trying out my theory that like we do have enough for for every planter. New theory. It's nice to have something to, something to focus on. Standing the dead on the journey may seem like a depressing task, but it gives me a sense of purpose. Hey, that's awesome. Who is this for, though? Hopefully it's not for him. What? How about that, bud? No? This is also, like, clearly interactable. I just don't know with what. Almost every line in Dark Souls can be reasonably be replaced with, sorry, the laugh sound ominous. is true. Gives me conniptions. Can't even die right. Uh, we did this, right? Yeah, we did this. But that was like the, the first layer of the witch's domain, I think. There's the shrooms. Hey! Oh, that's new. A stranded sailor. Hog? I don't think it's how to get to the beast, but that's okay. It is not necessarily time to hunt yet, so... <gasps> Pog? What is this? I see more... Okay, there's a shiny thing down there. Keep that in mind. File that away in the old brain. Yo, is this an establishment? A dining establishment, perhaps? Or some other establishment? F. Some some manner of establishment? I said the Stranded Sailor. I'm guessing that's probably... What the heck? Are those... Whose, whose boys are these? Okay. Well, that was a cool area. Yo! Wait, what? This is so good? And Pothead's here. Ho ho ho, it seems you found my own my old trowel. It was his? I haven't seen it in a long time. I do love gardening, but with the state of the world these days, not much grows. I have placed pots all over the island in the hopes that passing travelers might plant any seeds they find. An optimistic new life will spring up in due course. Yeah, I, knew, I should. I knew it. Dang it. We're gonna have to go back through anyway to uh, to plant everything. Um, to go back and redo the areas once we have all of our uh, upgrades anyway. So when we do the cleanup pass, we'll do that too. If there comes a day when all of the pots are filled with new life, I'll be a very happy fellow. Okay. Now we know. Bonus secret for planting in every pot. This area has the single best vibes. Dude, there's a door here. What the heck? <gasps> Hello again, little bird. Me come far and wide, see many thing. World outside, very beautiful. Love, laugh, live. That all grunt want. <laughs> you received the Grunt's old mask. Shoutouts to Grunt. It seems as Grunt is loyal to a new leader now. Mm -mm -mm. Jeff's son made delicious soup. He has dark secret. Not many people know. But Grunt saw straight away. Jeff's a not really professional chef. But Grunt no care. Soup is delicious. Here's the thing about that one. That's like the good... That's, that's the correct way to do a meme reference in a game. Um, it just sounds silly if you're not aware of the live, laugh, love uh, meme. I think that's pretty smooth, all things considered. This mask is covered resembled the Frog King. Many of the grunts that inhabit this land are feeble of mind, desiring a leader to give them purpose. They often show loyalty by making and wearing a mask in their image. Such is the unwavering bond between grunt and leader that it almost resembles a cult. Uh, Shrek, by the way. Um, and now I think he's wearing a bird mask because of us. <laughs> These are friends now. 
to the mountain town field castle lockstone interesting okay yep more of this this song is fantastic love this tune I think that's that's the good kind of memeing. Stop. So you're saying, why hello there, fellow traveler. Go on, tell all. How's your adventure doing? Got any exciting tales I can knock out a song about? Reason being, I'm up here in these mountains seeking inspiration for my next masterpiece. Yes, my guiding moonlight. I'm so excited. Big great sword. I heard a monster lives up in the mountaintops. Can you believe it? That drunk fella outside the stranded sailor since he lost his love to the beast. Fancy that. The way I see it, there's gotta be one heck of an epic battle awaiting me up ahead. If only I could smash up these blasted rocks blocking the path. What the... Oh, does the ice regrow, maybe? That animation had so many frames. It all on me. This guy. Wow, Betty. My beautiful Betty. Wow. I will never know love again. Oh. Uh. That's a, that's a, that's a NPC. Whose main is this? Greetings, fellow biped. I have several questions. Octodad? Yeah. I think he's doing a great job. My name is Jefferson, a humble bartender and seed food enthusiast at your service. Could these human hands prepare you a delicious meal today? Absolutely. Great. One delicious meal. Coming right up. The eye looks rose. And I know, it's so good. I sure do love preparing food with my multi-digited mammal hands. This is like r slash totally not robots. Oh my god. <laughs> now, let me tell you a little something while you ingest nutrients. Oh my god, this is so cute. To the west of the cemetery... Behind a rock, you will find a passage west of the cemetery. But it will require some kind of powerful force or explosion to break open. We do know that. A secret lies submerged beneath the moat in the estate of the Urnwitch. Opening it will require bringing an open flame to the East Gardens. There's a lot going on in the witch's basement, even before you reach the inner furnace. A stray bull carriage may grant you access to its secrets. All I have for you for now. <laughs> Dude, I love Jefferson. Ever since I emerged from my human mother's embryonic egg sat, I knew I would become a chef. Come back anytime you're hungry. Dude. I love the giant white like, fish bowl here for him to sleep in. Um, this is really clever, because not only is Jefferson the best character of all time in any piece of media, but... Uh, that, that eating animation was lavish and hilarious. I love the throwing the chopsticks up. That was great. And I gotta say, really slick way to do hints. So now we know where secrets are. So we'll do those later though, because we're already up here and we don't want to, you know. We gotta we got come back. Like, we know we have to redo these areas with stuff anyway. Oh. Those new text. I'll tell you this, if you do so happen to break through these rocks, I would write a magnificent ballad of your deed. Thank you. Okay. I will be taking my ballad now. Look at that, mate. You smashed it. You're a legend. You might even be the inspiration for my next big tune. Yeah. If it's all the same tea, I might just tag along in your adventure. See you around. Oh, okay. A friend has joined the party. We have a bard in the party now. Hey, anybody else feel like the Lord of Doors is always watching us? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Oh, this is cool. 
Trying to find the way with the least stuff. This looks like the way forward, potentially. If it is, we'll have to go back, of course. Uh, that looks like the way to... Yeah, okay. That's the way to stuff. Love the slow music fade out there, by the way. That was really cool. Yeah, I just gotta get the stuff. <gasps> Rotate. Like I've said, you see camera rotation in this game, you know you're in the right place. Yeah, like, what's up with these? You know what I mean? Okay, here's one thing. I can't help but feel like this is open for a reason. I was wrong. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. If those grates do something later, we'll have to come back down here. If those grates do something later, though, we'll have to get, like, a, a guy for them, probably, because there's so many of them throughout the world. Or if we get that power sooner than later, or sorry, if not sooner than later, I mean like before our cleanup round, we'll be able to do that too. Dude, what the heck? What is up with this guy? Oh, guy's getting bombed. Guy's getting arrowed. Guy's getting fireballed. Okay, that's that then. Dude, this hammer makes for a great ice pick. I just can't get over how good every animation in this game is. Very similar building structure to the Frog King's Castle. There's a statue of the Lord of Doors here. It's a little ominous. Castle Lockstone, the Frozen Fortress. Yo, <laughs> that was awesome. Enter. Entree. Another door cluster, of course. I love, love this. Yeah, again, pal, you don't want me tagging along. It seems like we need to find a way through this old fortress if we want to get up that mountain. Well, I say we, I mean you. I'll just hang around here and work on the lyrics for my next banging tune. Let me know, let me know if you find a way up. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here and work on the night the lyrics for my next banger. Let me know if you find a way up. Shoutouts to Barb. Always on the grind. Never stops. The grind never stops. I think that's probably not happening. There's more and more of these grates. I'm getting convinced that we may have to do a mechanic with them, perhaps. Oh, this room is gorgeous. Dude, dude, it's grapple time, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's a veritable grappling playground. Oh, so, potential theories for the grates. We can teleport between them is one theory. My, oh, my running theory right now... This is genius, is that they're gonna work like Mario Sunshine sewers and they enable like underground travel between them in an area. Whew. Easy. Well, the door just like pops off. Key located. The key animations are fantastic. Yeah, like, I wonder if they let us traverse, but I, I'm thinking Mario Sunshine. That's what they look like to me, those super grades. So, like, I'm wondering if we, like, they unlock, like, a special passage, you know what I mean? That's my current thinking, so let's see if that holds up, but that's my current prediction for those. It could also be, like, a jump pad, I guess. A lot of them are in pretty good locations for that. Okay. We didn't need to go back there. 
At long last, this mechanic. Now we're Zelda. Oh, okay. Well. Well, that was rude of them. Oh, okay, we can just wait. I was like, uh... gonna do this. I love this gate opening animation. It's so good. I also love a good... Dude, what? I love a snow castle. This is, like, really good me right now. I am... You will, you will find the... I've talked about doing a video about this before, but just, like, the best snow-themed levels in non-snow-themed video games before. Because it's, like, an art form. And this is a really good one so far. The OST feels appropriately, appropriately like somber and barren, but also a little help, a little hopeful, it's a little exploratory. Got a little bit of that Celeste vibe. Whew. That one's on me. Death. 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 Please don't maybe open the gates again. Whoa. So we have these also the all these like counterweights, whatever these are. I'm curious about those. So that was no big deal then. All right, here we go. Ooh, the fake out again. Why would I do that? Okay. All right. Death. Why, Essel? You, you may say to yourself. Did you do that? I don't have an answer for you. If you have a question for me, I'll accept it. I'm taking quite I'm officially taking questions. I'm actually, you know what? We should do, we should change. I, I I say a lot to not ask me questions about situations like that. I am accepting questions now. If you have questions or uh, constructive criticism, I will I will take it. Okay. Dude, he pivots so hard. <laughs> Wait, I, yeah, I gotta be real with you. This this spear guy feels like. The same experience of fighting a new, strong Dark Souls enemy. I don't think decreases the game feel so much as... Um, that is a good question, though. Curry asks, do the weapons not having hits done decrease the game feel? Uh, I would say it causes a little bit of, like, a conveyance problem to me. More than anything else. I think, like, feel-wise, the, the hits still feel chunky enough that, like, it doesn't feel... Like, I know I've connected. So I think that's... Which is kind of a weird thing to do, because I think usually games that don't have a lot of hits done do give that same kind of feel. The same problem with game feel of, like, you know, like you're not doing anything to enemies. I feel like I'm clearly hitting the enemies. 
but I also feel like they aren't responding a lot. And in fairness, this is like a thing in Zelda. I mean, and in the Souls games, so like, it's not like I'm not like I'm unused to it. But the tougher enemies, I think for sure, all share that in common. They don't really respond to hits that much, if at all. Okay. Okay. Like, these guys should have hit stun. These guys should be stunned upon hit. <laughs> I'll have none of that. These guys should absolutely have hit stun. Like, this guy not having it doesn't really bother me. It's clearly, like, clearly, like, the hard guy of the room. Oh, that was a soul room. Okay, wow. I haven't even seen the door yet. It's so cold. Oh, that was so sad. Ooh, frozen door, okay. And there's a shiny in here. I can't tell if that shiny is the grapple or not. I've been curious if the grapple is a, a spell or not. It could be the fourth spell pretty easily, I think. I haven't been tracking to see if... Oh, we should get me first, oops. Living Reaper. Bring me energy. Let's see if we can see what's over there. Oh, that's like a door helmet, not a grapple. Something, something, fetch me their souls. What is that from? My brain is not remembering what that's from. It's like a line from something. My brain's not putting two and two together. Oh, it's, it's close. Is it Call of Duty Zombies? I think it's Call of Duty Zombies. I think that's what my brain's trying to put together here. I believe it is a reference to the doll grounds of zombies. Oh, okay. Well, we're in another arena. Here we go. Not a two hit. Okay, how do I get... Okay, that's just... If we had one more dex, you could probably comfortably fit a second hit in. Oops. Easy. Not dead. No. 
Let's go! That was terrifying. Posted in this fortress, I have learned a great deal about the old lords of doors. Lords, plural. Still don't care much for them. <laughs> I think one thing that's very interesting about the, the game so far is that each area in sequence speeds up the cycle of getting into the door portion. Like, we're getting to this faster and faster. Like, we just started this area and we're immediately at the door. First area, we have this huge lead up. We have the dungeon area. We got, came up outside into the gardens. We got into the mansion. Then we got the door, right? Second area, we had intro in the forest. And then we're right into this, into this temple, right? Right away. And the temple was where we had the doors. And then here, we start the area and we're immediately in the, the door zone. Okay, speaking of. Huh. Huh. Lots of exits here. Monka? This is such a cool room, oh my god. Oh god. Okay, look, it was worth it. Another three-hit room, though. Entombed alongside the old lords. I suppose some would call it an honor. I would call it a tragedy. Three out of four. I love, love, love that we get the view into the room here. It's so cool. This is such a neat little, like, man, the layouts of this game have been incredible consistently. Like, I, every area is late. Like, the map the, like the map design is just like, oh my god, it's so good. This is, like, especially strong. Here lies Lord Lockstone, the first Lord of Doors to make a deal with death. Their legacy is inestimable, and their reign absolute. A cold ruler concerned with law and order consolidated power and would go on to build the foundation of the Hall of Doors. Oh. Shoutouts to Lord Lockstone. Oops. Spirit of Lord Lockstone. This is the resting place of we, the Lords of Doors. I am Lord Lockstone for whom this crypt was named. We Lords of Doors were an anomaly, a mistake of the universe, some might say. But is that not an apt description of all life? A mistake of the universe, one which grows and thrives, existence born into consciousness. And to preserve that consciousness is the most important and noble goal. So clearly the pursuit of immortality here, right? Arguing in favor of their own existence by saying, you know, all that. So making a deal with death. We haven't heard death named, I don't think, right? Unless that's our employer. I thought our employer was Lord of Doors. Okay. So that's fascinating. The lore is being developed rapidly. Well, we don't have this yet. 
I'm telling you, it's happening like right now. We're getting the grapple now, not later. Oh, this way. I'm telling you, grapple incoming. Perfect. Perfect. Hunting souls for breakfast, lunch, and no. A creature who knew 10,000 things, all eyes and tentacles and sometimes wings. Eyes and tentacles? Um, what? Oh god. Oh, sorry, I see lasers. Here we go. animation of this guy, the, the, like the little turret falling down, that's really good. Alright, so this should be the last fight in here. Oh, just kidding. Seventeen. Keep in mind here. Oops. Oh. No! You know what this is? You know what it just hit me? This is Karama Tengu from Neo, and also from, like, mythology. The, the Tengu from, you know, the various Tengu from, from myth in real life. But also, but particularly the Karama Tengu in Neo, which has a similar pole with, like, bells on it. A pole arm with bells. And has a similar moveset of really precise long reaching pole arm attacks followed by uh little hops easily one of the more intimidating enemies in neo if not one of the strongest
Easy clap. Here lies Lord Theodore, the first successor in the lineage of lords. Their transition to power was smooth and their reign egalitarian. Remembered for their fair nature, enforcing better working conditions for reapers. Shoutouts to Lord Theodore! My life is ending, but this lord plans to live forever. It doesn't feel fair to me. Also, what then is... Interrupt, like, is causing the change of power if each lord is intending to live forever? Do they all coalesce into the same being, or what? Like, do they, like, sort of succeed each other by taking over the previous one's body, or what's the deal? Also, we do see a thing, like a furnace over there, but we can't shoot at it from this angle. Or this angle? I can try it from over here, but... I don't think so. So that's seed. Oh, oops. Oh, we did this already. Nice. All right, folks. Final spell. And from what I can tell, the final spell has to be the grapple. But let's find out together right now. Be careful, Living Reaper. Oh, I love the little hand flex. One of the best visual things of all time. Okay, we do get healed on the way through. I'm I'm thinking this is a grapple time. I've been holding out for this for okay again, it could be a dash, but Avarice 3, let's go. I'm stretching now. <laughs> We did a swan dive. Oh my god. Wait, this game is so good. You see it. Like, the crow was like, take me. Oh my god. Oh, new guy. Whoa. Yeah, that spell is sick, first of all, but also, oh no. It's looking a little claymation-y, is that correct to you? Does seem right to you guys? Looks a little claymation-y. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say with the aesthetical time. Looks a little, a little like claymation. Oh god. How's this for an enemy mix? Jeez. That one ricocheted. So this is like a minor tolerance for ricochet. Like a slight bit of homing. Easy. What? Oh, this guy. That guy's like a, like a boss. Jeez. Scary. 
No greed here, no greed, no greed. Holy cow. Well. Let's go. It's over. It's over. Avarice 3 defeated. Yo. A gift to a fellow crow to aid you on your quest. You dropped this, King? This is a really cool thematically, too, because we have the spirits of these older crows who have come before us giving us the tools we need to overthrow the Lord of Doors. Hookshot spell acquired. Oh, yeah. Is it because it costs two, I wonder? What's up, Bloom? How's it going? Exactly, that's my door now. Appears to be a Reaper's Demand Alarm. Okay, here we go, another one. The removal of the legacy doors has seriously impeded my investigation into the disappearance of the Reapers in the Redacted Region. I am so sorry to hear that. Hopefully, a Crow with Sword will help you uh, feel a little better. This whole process of transferring to the new system has been a nightmare. No! I'm so sorry, that's miserable. Hopefully, you can get that started out sooner than later. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Found evidence that many workers were active in the region when the orders were given to cut them off. Okay, so this is, we're now getting like, not just like alluding to, but solid confirmation. More worrying still is that the active reaping mission in the area was also purged from the system. Somewhere out there is a soul that has not been reaped on time. It's a recipe for disaster, that's for sure. We all know what happens to souls that they remain alive past their death date. Okay. Oh, the hookshot feels so good. The sound effect on it is fantastic. I knew it! Look at that screen shake. That's so satisfying. <laughs> Click. Phone is not connected. I wonder if there's like developments here now because we, we just respawned in the, in the beginning part of the area. That Vaga reckons something big's gonna happen here soon. You know anything about that, buddy? Yeah, I do. In fact, I'm involved. <gasps> the boys! Paul Ballplart. I don't know why anyone was complaining. These things are adorable. Thank you! They are adorable. They're like the same TV shows as me. Oh my god, this is so cute. This game is phenomenal. I, look at this, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Yeah, I, I'm a little bit biased because I absolutely loved the studio's first game, A Titan Souls, that came out in 2015. Um, but oh my god, I'm in love with this game. It's so good. Just relaxing, feeding the birds. But none of my friends won't eat off the floor. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. This, Vaga is incredible. Tell me, have you ever seen a mountain? You ever get a chance to try and explore one? What a wonderful creation they are, titans of nature. Some friends, some friends have been living on a mountain. It's nice, but quite cold. <laughs> yeah, I, I will definitely say Titan Souls is very, very, I agree with that. Enormously challenging. Requires a lot of like high precision gameplay, I think, which is, you know, a mixed bag of people, so that, that is totally valid. This game so far has been substantially less uh, intense on the technical, like the technical gameplay front. Oh, this is so sick. This feels so secretive. I love it. On the logbook, here we go. Okay, I'm done with this job. I found the notes from the investigator looking into the events around the disappearances of Reapers and the closures of all those active doors. This Lord of Doors doesn't give two shinies about any of us crows. What is it all for? 
myself, and a few of the other Reapers I've convinced to join me, are heading, in the, uh, heading into the Forbidden Region to see what we can find. I hope we can start a new life without the commission. A new challenge awaits us. <laughs> Vaga? So there's been all these rumors about crows leaving the commission and living on their own with like mortal lives. I guess that was probably Vaga and Co. That's crazy. Yes, this is like a, the, the, we, we found one of these before. It was a model door. Scale model of a Reaper door. There's two of those now though, interesting. It doesn't function. It was probably made to evaluate the designs of the modern doors that Reapers use today. Okay, yeah, here we go. They're slimmer, easier to use, and more reliable. They no longer process raw souls like the legacy design. We'll be introducing a vault, which processes souls for the power grid that the new doors run on. Everything will be automated by the commission. Even minor souls used for purchases will be fed back into the system. Interesting. The hookshot is so satisfying. It's unbelievable. <laughs> that is an incredibly satisfying mechanic. Oops. Whoa, what is that? My little friend. Oh no! The forest spray got into the ink supply. Although she doesn't seem to mind. Maybe she just loves the smell of ink as much as I do. Oh, Agatha's so wholesome. Ink, ink, it lets out a stink. But I love it so much I could pl practically drink it. I just. I love that Agatha's whole, like, reason for being is typing. She just loves typing. And that, that's, that, that's it. <laughs> so good. These creatures are so colorful. They're giving me a migraine. Coming through the doors that you left open. Honestly, you're turning me off since the dimensional Swiss cheese. Sorry, Chandler. But sometimes you have to have some fun. Yeah, we're having fun. Alright, this is the wrong place. I forgot we're, we're not going here anymore. One of the frog king. We do need to go back and do our cleanup pass at some point, but, but not, not now. Not now. For now, we return to here. Uh, Castle Lockstone. Almost said Castle Lockthwain. That's a Magic the Gathering card. <laughs> okay, but it is that time of night. True, Bloom, I do too. Dimensional Switch Cheese does sound good. Uh, stream folks, don't move. We're coming back to do more stream. YouTube folks, though, this is your stop for the night. Hopefully you enjoyed today's VOD. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel to find more or come out of the stream. I stream every night, Sunday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv slash asshole underscore TV. So hopefully I'll see you live on the stream soon, but otherwise, peace.